Hello, I'd like to show you how to do marzipan fruits. I've got a selection of colours. I've also got a selection of um, materials and ingredients and tools. So first of all, I'm going to make a lemon. So I'm using the yellow, yellow marzipan. And just to get into the swing of this, you need to weigh out about 14 grams for each marzipan fruit. And that's for every single one. They need to be identical in size. Work your marzipan. Warm it up if it's a bit dry. So it's got a nice shine to it. And for a lemon, we're going to just roll it in between our fingers. So you've got that lemon shape. Then need to do is use the, the zest part of the grater and just roll it against the grater. So marzipan fruits are very quick. They, they're usually made in mass production. So you've got the texturing on the, the lemon. And that can go in my paper case. So that's my first one made. An orange. Check your weight every now and again. You don't need to check it every time you do them, but you just um, now and again. So into a ball. So I'm rolling it into a ball. And again, using the zest part to make that textured part of the orange. And then we have the orange. But what I do need to do is include the, the pale left onto it. And I've got some marzipan here that's been rolled out. And I'm going to use the brown. I'm going to use a little star cutter. Okay. Take it out the cutter. I'm going to place it on top of the orange and using your ball tool just press that in to make it look more realistic. But so far I've got the lemon oops, and the orange. A peach. You do get used to it. It's taking enough marzipan when you do this well. So again, roll it to making it nice and shiny, releasing the oils in the marzipan, it's nice and smooth. You then take your paintbrush, the handle of your paintbrush, and you just roll it around so you put form in that peach shape. And what I can do with this to make it a little bit more realistic, we just put we've got some dusting powder on a brush and I could just shade that one side place it in the case and there's my peach apple you can see now why it's important to do them all the right size Work your paste, nice and shiny. And again, I can use the dusting paint, so I'm using a red on this one. Just to give a blush, again, making it a bit more realistic. Into my case. And I could uh, do a leaf. So I've got a tiny little leaf cutter here. And then green leaf. Using the ball tool, the smaller side of the ball tool, place it on and just press it in. I've got the leaf. I can't 
then make a little stick if I want to get an extra little bit. I'm just wondering if you could see it better if I move it round here. No. So I'm just going to roll a stem for my apple. So it's just fallen off the tree. And you can see what I'm doing, just rolling a nice fine stem. in that stick and placing it in. So I've now got my apple. And I could do a pair, oh I'll keep them. I can do a pair in a similar way. into a ball until it's all smooth and shiny. Now with a pair I'm just going to do the top third and roll in it in between my fingers and then that should give me that nice pear shape. I'm using the side of my fingers when I roll it. So I've got the pear shape. I can add a little bit of colour to this one. on the one side, a little bit of red into my case. Again, I can put a leaf. I'll turn it round so you can see it. Yeah, because the marzipan's soft and it's all fresh, it should be able to stick to it without it falling off. So I've got my pair. I could do a Christmas pudding. And my Christmas pudding. Again into a ball. Check the weight. Too heavy. Brown. Pop it into the case. And for this one, I've got a little bit of royal icing, and I've softened the royal icing down just so it's a little bit on the soft side. And I'm going to place that in the piping bag. It's got a very nice sharp point to it. Don't need a lot. Down in the piping bag. You can put a tube in this, a number two tube, or you can just put the end of your piping bag. And I can pipe it on so it looks like it's stripped down the edge. So it's the icing on my Christmas pudding. Little holly cutter for this one. Tiny little holly cutter. So little holly cutter. Place it on. And perhaps a tiny little holly berry to go with it. I could do a bunch of grapes. So starting with exactly the same size. Okay. But this time 
rolling them into individual balls. So I'm using all the marzipan that I've weighed out. And a bunch of grapes are going to be placed together. place three in a line and I'm going to make a triangle so you can see I've got three two and one then I'm going to place two on top and then followed by that third one so I've got a bunch of grapes that can go, and it weighs exactly the same, so I know the size is going to be right into my case. And I think a little stick would be nice. Just to make it a little bit more realistic. And if you use your ball tool and press it in, adds a bit of detail. Okay. Oops. I need a long stick mat. There we go. Um, what else could I do? Banana. See what I'm doing now? I'm getting a collection of colours and they look a lot more appealing in a collection of colours. So work your paste, work your marzipan to a ball, nice smooth shiny ball and then open your hands, one side, turn it around and do the same for the other side. just need to bend it round. So I'm not doing this banana very long because I still want it to fit in the in the case. to that brown and I'm going to go along the side and my bananas are nice and ripe my banana I'm going to do a plum so nice added a nice purple colour So into a ball, I'm rolling it around, this time a little bit of a, an oval and I'm going to use the handle of my paintbrush and I'm going to, like the, the um, peach, put a crease into it. Again, a, um, a stick, a stem would be nice for this. Now just insert that at one end. So I've got my plum. A strawberry. It's always nice to have a little bit of red. Again, I'm measuring. You've just got to be careful when you, you're handling different colours, 
that you keep washing your hands in between because if I um, don't then I could transfer some of that purple onto my red. Check the size, too much. Now this time, for a strawberry again I need to hold all my hands open and I want to produce a teardrop shape. And it's really nice if you just roll that in a little bit of caster sugar. So with Mars Pan Fruit, we're not um, doing modelling so that it's exactly the same. It's a representation. And we want to make them appealing to eat. Calyx, which I'm using a star cutter. Take it out the cutter. And again, using the ball tool, place it on and push it in. So I've, I've made that. I've made it pushed in, so it looks quite realistic. So I've got the strawberry. Cherry. Again, I need to start with the right measurement. And I'm just going to cut this one in half. I'm going to have two cherries, so rolling it into a ball. So I've got two the same size, but when they're together, they, they add up to those 14 grams. Into the case. And then you making a stem. slightly longer this time because we're going to fold it over. I'm just going to fold it over my knife. So I've got a selection of marzipan fruits. And I made those quite quickly. 